Multi-generation family literacy has the power to break the generational cycle of poverty by empowering parents and children to meet their academic and economic potential. Who's heard of a glossary before? The National Center for Families Learning created the Family Literacy and Family Learning Concepts, and data shows the programs consistently make life-changing impacts on families, schools, and communities by helping participants thrive. It's been a tremendous change for our community. It's been a tremendous change for our schools. That really does bridge what we do at school with our families, and it helps us to educate the families about um, how they can work with their students. The four-component model of family literacy includes adult education, parent time, parent and child together, or PAC time, and child education. The components consist of adult education, where we provide either ESL classes, GED classes, or some kind of vocational training for that parent or uh, the generation that's the guardian for the child. To really show to their kids, like, look, look, I'm coming to class too. This matters to me. Your education is so important that I'm showing up to school three, four days a week to learn more about their school and to even improve their own English skills so that they can help them with the homework. In parent time, it's a little less formal, a little less structured than the adult education. It's more based on what is the goal of the parent or the guardian and what do they want to learn about? What kind of workshops do they want, whether it's financial literacy, whether it's healthy cooking. We also have pack time and that's where parents go into their child's classroom to learn alongside their children. Parents can understand what's going on and begin to understand how it functions, the classroom functions and eventually be, be able to ask the teacher perhaps about assignments. So do you think that smells good or bad? Good. All right. It empowers our parents to be part of their children's academic success. The parents see their part in how they can help their child be successful in school by getting them to school and seeing the importance of education and understanding that they do play, pay a part in the behavior piece. Together. Then we have child literacy where the children are actually in school, the school age children are in school every day. But we also provide child care for children that are not quite in school. So they are receiving education as well. Is your caterpillar going to eat pasta? Yep. So the advantage of having family literacy at the building site is that it's been documented that the kids will do better in school, their test scores go up, they have better attendance, parents attend more school functions, therefore the children are also there at school functions. We see better participation in parent-teacher conferences and also just basic overall school events. While family literacy is often offered in school environments, family learning programs may be offered in community centers and libraries. Family learning includes parent time, pack time, family service learning, and adult skill building. During this time, adults set education and personal goals and develop work skills with the intention of using them to get new or better jobs. This will translate into employability skills and this is something that they will be able to take into new jobs. We've seen parents from previous years do that. Social media and technology, okay? So learning to talk with each other, learning to collaborate, learning to schedule things, organize. Definitely, I think that's the most important part of the project. Even technology skills too, they're building that within service. We've seen a lot of our families be able to get jobs, to get better housing, and we've really, really been able to see a growth in their self-esteem and their self-worth. We also get to see them uh, being more involved with their children in school and being more involved in their children's learning. Research shows increased family engagement counterbalances risk factors for children while it improves self-efficacy and empowers adults. The result? is a compounding positive effect on student achievement over time. The key is staying true to the model. Our administrators and our superintendent is very much behind the program. It has been proven to be one of the best family engagement programs within our school system. It's very cost effective. It's a very simple model, very easy to operate. This work really does change families for generations to come in so many positive ways.